Hello again. Well, if you've been keeping up on your technological news, technological. you will have realized by now that the high definition format war is over. Blu-ray versus HD DVD. Blu-ray one. Blu-ray one. Blu-ray one. Blu-ray one. Blu and of course, all the way through this format war, the internet has been ablaze with fanboys screaming at each other saying that oh, this format's superior to that format because of this, this and this. And the other guys go, no, you're smoking crack, the other one's better, this is what... Mm -mm. It's really, really tedious stuff, but all that's over now. Toshiba, the guys behind HD DVD, have finally thrown their hands up in the air and gone, well, we gave it a shot, but... Uh, it's not really worth our time anymore continuing to make these things. Clearly, Blu-ray has taken the market. We lost. Of course, we still have to put up with all the Blu-ray nerds. And Sony fanboys in particular gloating and screaming and jumping up and down saying, I told you so, no, 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 no. And for the record, I was hoping HD DVD was going to be the format of choice. For various reasons, none of which I'm going to go into now because <laughs> it's irrelevant now. <sighs> the only problem I have is I dove into the pool just a little bit too soon. I made a choice, I made a commitment a little bit too early. I went out and got myself one of these, which is of course the HD DVD player for the Xbox 360. The reason I got one of these is because they just dropped down in price when I got it and I thought, well, hey, that's a cheap way to get high definition movies at home. I already had this Xbox 360, you know, I wasn't throwing away much cash if it lost. And, uh, what do you know? It lost. It lost. So, this thing is now worthless. Utterly <laughs> worthless. And I'm feeling a little bit slighted by that, quite frankly, because, uh, now that Toshiba have thrown up their hands and the war is officially over and Blue Way has officially won in any official way you want to put it, these things, <laughs> well, for a start, the second hand price is nothing. Nothing, nothing. I can't even sell it and get a portion of my money back because nobody wants them anymore. Because everyone's quite aware that they're bollocks, useless, redundant, over with. So the question becomes, what am I going to do with this thing? It's pointless buying any more HD DVD discs. I'm not bitter. Well, I am bitter, but I'm not going to act like I'm terribly bitter. Except for... Except for... Except for... Except for... Except for... This one thing. Now, because this thing is so utterly worthless, not even worth selling secondhand, Damn thing's still under warranty for Christ's sake, but what are you going to do with it? Besides, see how flame retardant it is. See how flame retardant it is. Well, I better start looking at my budget and see when I can afford to get a uh, PlayStation 3 so I can enjoy my high definition movies. Oh, and Apple, if anyone from Apple's listening. Apple TV is great, high definition downloads, even though they don't look as good as the disk space ones because they're more compressed and all that sort of stuff. But hey, it'd be really handy if Australians, for instance, presents, presents. <laughs> had any real use for the Apple TV because I'd like to get one of those too because it seems like a really nice device. But seeing as we can't buy movies from iTunes at the moment and seeing as we can't rent movies from iTunes at the moment, the damn thing's next to useless. Am I better? Yes, I'm bitter. All I wanted to do was enjoy my movies looking and sounding the best they can. Die! Die! Die, you useless piece of crap! <coughs> I should probably open a window. <coughs> Catch you next time.